Hello everyone and welcome to Creative Paper Canvas. My name is Amy Panka. Today's card primarily focuses on color. Typically when we choose a color for a card, we're picking a color that intuitively feels correct for the card, whether it be a birthday card, a sympathy card, for a male or for a female. What I'd like to talk about today is choosing a color with intention and perhaps even designing around that color. So there's a little bit of pre-thought in what the colors mean. I think red is obvious. You would make a card with red in it, birthday card or anniversary card for your significant other, yellow or blues or neutral colors for a sympathy card. What you need to first do then is decide what each color specifically means to you. I've chosen a blue-green color for this card. This card is about sending support and love to somebody who is having a tough time. And blues and greens to me are soothing, easy colors to see. So I've gathered my supplies. I'm using three stamp sets from Altenew, Painted Butterflies, Painted Poppy, and Fancy Greetings. I'm using Altenew Crisp Dye Inks, Aqualicious, Galactic Stream, and dew drops for my inks. I'm also going to use some heat foils and show you a technique where you can use these foils for your card without having a machine such as a mink. So I'm first stamping both images in the darkest of the colors I've chosen which is the galactic stream and then I'm going to do the center of the flower in dew drops and the center of the butterfly in the aqualicious color. So I needed to stamp my butterfly a second time and as you can see I wasn't using a misty so I took a chance and I got lucky. I'm going to stamp the sentiment sending hugs on a piece of vellum and uh, we're stamping this today with Versamark sticky ink and then I'm going to emboss it with black embossing powder. I can see my cover there says silver embossing powder and I'll make sure those covers get switched but this is black embossing powder. So now we're going to apply the foil paper to the stamped image. So the two things that you need to do this are a sticky ink and the ones that stampers I think most often use is Versamark and then you also need a sticky powder. So I'm using heat and stick powder and the trick as you will see is once you heat the heat and stick powder you need to apply the foil paper almost immediately while the heat and stick powder is still hot. And here's my public service warning. Please don't burn your fingers when you do this. I'll tell you a couple of things about heat and stick powder. It will heat up very quickly once your heat gun is hot. So you want to preheat your heat gun and apply it only to the heat and stick powder once it is hot. The other thing to know is unlike other embossing powders, you can reheat the heat and stick powder if you lift up your foil and find that your image did not cover well. For those of you new to foil paper, you will notice that I applied the foil paper with the color side up. This is how you would apply it either with this technique or using a heating machine with your foil papers. I'm going to apply some background shimmer using the color Champagne Mist All Purpose Ink and some 70% isopropyl alcohol and I have mixed these in a small sprayer. You put three or four drops of the Champagne Mist ink in the sprayer and about half full of the isopropyl alcohol. And if you want a more concentrated mix, you can make a more concentrated mist mix. Just know that when you spray it, the more concentrated the mix, the more shimmer you are going to get on your image. So when I sprayed this, I did not pre-spray the mix, which I typically do, and I got a little blob of mix in the bottom left corner. If I was leaving the card like this, I would redo the card, but I am gonna add additional spatter, and this will hide in the additional spatter. So you'll notice that the card curled up quite a bit. I sped up the image from about the point I was done spraying until you are finished watching here. And it took three or four minutes for this card to flatten out all on its own. All it takes is time for the alcohol to dry and absorb off the paper. 
Once the paper is dry, this makes a really beautiful shimmer on the background of the paper. And you'll see my spatter mistake in the bottom left corner, but you'll see that disappear when we apply the additional spatter. So I'm putting some isopropyl alcohol in a small bowl, and I'm going to put some of the champagne mist ink in the small bowl, just two or three drops. And I'm going to use a paintbrush and soak it with the isopropyl alcohol and pick up some ink and just tap the paintbrush over the panel to create additional spatter. Well, once you do this and you have your panel looking the way you want it, you'll have to let this ink dry. And this can take several hours to completely dry. So now I'm back after allowing the ink to dry and it's time to assemble the card. I'm gluing the card panel to a piece of gold foil card stock and I'm going to attach the sending hug sentiment that we embossed on vellum with some foam tape just directly under the wording and you can't see that foam tape show through the wording. Sometimes attaching um, vellum images can be a challenge but this will work out well. And then I'm attaching the panel to the card base using foam tape. And here we have our final card. I hope you enjoyed the card today and the techniques that we did. And I hope this encourages you to give color a little more thought in your design. Thank you for joining me on Creative Paper Canvas. My name is Amy Panka. You can follow me at creativepapercanvas.com. And I hope you have a great day.